Thomas Hearn to his heavy assessment there. Well, Tim, the, the purpose of the hand bandage is to protect the metacarpal bones, but you also have to throw your punches straight. It has to be a straight line from the knuckle right up to the shoulder. As Tommy said, if you bend your wrist, you can break your hand. And it's happened to him. And he feels like he's learned from that experience. But it's hard to keep a clenched fist all the time, so your, your timing has to be important. You've got to be relaxed in there, but you've got to have it ready to throw. Round number two. Scheduled for 12, Thomas Hearns in front of his hometown crowd. Doug DeWitt from Yonkers, New York. And Doug DeWitt landed a good left hook to the body in the first round. And Tommy knows now that DeWitt can snap a pretty good punch off. So he's being a little cautious. DeWitt born in Youngstown, Ohio, but grew up in Yonkers, New York. Actually lived in Detroit for a brief time. Ranked number five by the WBA, number 15 by the WBC. Solid left by two and DeWitt. Two left hooks by DeWitt. And there's a right hand over. Now Hearns just sticking out that left hand, and DeWitt not impressed with that at all. Tim, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the key for, to this fight. If Tommy lands a good punch, uh, he has a tendency sometimes to relax and he can get nailed back. If DeWitt punches back, there's a chance he can nail Tommy with a pretty good shot. Hearn's feats are well documented against a lot of the great fighters. His only defeats at the hands of Leonard and Hagler. DeWitt with victories over Teddy Mann, Mike Kinley. Not in the same class of fighters that Hearns has been in in his various weight divisions. Coming up from the welders. Roberto Duran, Pepino Cuevas, James Schuler, Wilford Benitez, all victims of Thomas Hearns. DeWitt, thus far, Tim has been very, very quick with that left hand. Under a minute to go, and DeWitt trying to stay closer in this round. He took a real solid right from Tommy there. And DeWitt fighting inside where he figures to be most effective. Staying as close as he can to the rangy Thomas Hearns. There's that snapping jab of Hearns. Right hand landed by DeWitt. Good combination. Perfect. And look at DeWitt. Look over to the corner of Hearns, people. And he does that. He's a real macho man in a real sense of the term. It doesn't really accomplish anything. But it feels uh, important to him, evidently. Well, I guess that's the way he psychs himself up, Tim. Final seconds of round number two. Working the corner of Doug DeWitt. He's switched them quite frequently. Herschel Jacobs, uh, Tim, was a great light heavyweight fighter. Very, very smart fighter. And he's the guy that's giving Doug DeWitt the instructions in the corner. Has his brother Glenn in the corner with him and cut man Eddie Aliano. They're in round number three, scheduled for 12. The North American middleweight title at stake. Thomas Hearns, the champion. Good left hook by Hearns. Set, setting it up with the jab now, Tim. That's what he has to do. There's that good snapping jab again.
He certainly didn't come here for a payday, Tim. He, he's throwing punches with bad intentions. Plenty of snap. Tim, but this tree won't fall. He did a good job of surviving, and he's an expert at that. This is round number four, scheduled for 12. Hearns managed to get in a couple after the bell. I don't think either fighter heard the bell. It wasn't intentional. He was just trying to finish off his man. cumulative effect is and whether he can turn some offense on here in the fourth round after the good flurry by Hearns. With the wit it's going to have to take one big punch to get him back in the fight Tim. He certainly isn't going to outpoint Tommy Hearns. Well, I gave DeWitt the second round but Hearns had 2-1 on my scorecard and a big round in round number three at the end. What Tommy is doing, Tim, he's fainting, sliding over to the right and throwing his right hand over the wit's left, low left hand, which is a good strategy. Now DeWitt trying to muscle him, and this is something that I think DeWitt knows he's got to do. Which he didn't do against Milton McCrory. Tim, this is a much better Doug DeWitt and the Doug DeWitt that fought Milton McCrory. He's alive tonight. Guess McCrory seems to be in the days. A little swelling under the left eye of Doug DeWitt from the action near the end of round three. Hearns has a combination from long range. Tom, and then he slides over to the right, Tim. Good left hook by DeWitt to the body. Yeah, a little low, but it had its effect. Under a minute to go, round four. Well, Tommy Hearns just blew his nose, and that's one of the worst things he can do. His eye can swell up. Again, DeWitt stepping on Hearns as Hearns tried to move away from the rope. DeWitt's using his forearms, his elbows, his head, anything he can use trying to win this fight. Snappy jabs by DeWitt. And to the end of round number four, Doug DeWitt with just a little swelling under that left eye. Good combination on there to try and help those punches slide off.